Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1. Fathead, Candy Roth. Beautiful. Going to be gorgeous tonight. Dublin deck. We got a great day. 87. Tonight's sunshine. the night and get your ticket early. 10 bucks for fun. Wow. Yeah. Yep, DublinDeck.com. I don't even think you could see a movie for 10 bucks anymore, can no. you? No, it is 20 at the door, so get them online. Uh, East and Corbin, southbound, going to be absolutely amazing tonight, and we cannot wait. Candy, I, uh, I'm sorry I didn't bring this up earlier. You sound a lot better today. I'm feeling a lot better, which makes me think, you know, those tests were right. I didn't have COVID. I think it started with allergies and became a little chest cold, and yeah, I'm feeling better. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm happy uh, you are and uh, very good. Speaking of allergies, different type of allergy. Um, I was reading this uh, article about a food allergy cure that seems to uh, work on, you know, whatever, the lab rats or whatever they're testing it on. Um, and you like swallow this mixture and it coats the stomach in a certain way. And like it's supposed to help with food allergies. The only uh, issue is the people who were uh, talking about it and who, who have, uh, I guess, uh, uh, you know, been around it, say it absolutely stinks and is rancid. Ugh. Yeah, so here's the, here's the actual story. Scientists um, found this, uh, this bacterial compound that helps grow good gut bacteria to, to put a protective barrier in your gut and helps with food allergies. Researchers say it smells like dog poop and rancid butter. Oh, my Lord. And it tastes wor worse. Tastes wow. Worse. But it has prevented anaphylactic shock in lab mice. And But people in a study, people have done it in a study, they, they've been having trouble swallowing it because of how wretched it is. So would you, I mean, if you had really bad allergies. If I though, had really bad, well, listen, we all, we all don't, but us of maybe a little bit older quality take you know get colonoscopies and that right. drink is horrendous now you're making that sound even better it must be i i think i'd rather drink the colonoscopy stuff yeah um the if i had really bad allergies and i needed to take that shot along wherever i went in my life i think i might try it yes uh, yeah i would say if i had a really bad uh yes. you know if you like had to carry a pen with you whatever they're called yeah um yeah EpiPen, yeah, yeah. Uh, life-threatening allergy, yeah, I mean, for sure, that it now, might be the ticket. Uh, Ellen's daughter, Esme, who's 18 and just went to Syracuse for her first semester, she's allergic to pineapple, and she was at camp once, so they had to give her that EpiPen, and yeah, it was a bad allergy. I don't know that she'd be up to drinking this terrible thing, but she's young yet. Yeah, absolutely, and maybe this is the uh, the way to go for her. We'll see. I don't know that it's out on the market yet, or you know, uh, it's still in a study, but uh, seems to be doing the trick anyway on the people in the study and the lab mice. So that's good. Also, off the air, I don't want to forget this. You asked about my father-in-law. Well, you know, he does so many things. He's the artist known as Tony. Mm -hmm. So he not only does beautiful woodwork and people are trying to get him to do things for them, he fixes everything in your house and he cooks. Yes, well, so I want to know what's going on. He he makes uh, breakfast for uh, him and myself on, on the weekends. Yes, he does. He'll make nice uh, poached eggs and grits and whatever we're having. Um, so, uh, no, Dana is doing the cooking. Did I tell you Dana made her meatballs the other day? You did not? Yes, uh, the, maybe the best batch she ever made. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, but Tony and I did complain that she uses way too much garlic. Um, oh. Th imagine pieces of garlic in a meatball that when you chewed the meatball, it, it almost felt like you were chewing a uh, a water chestnut candy. That's how Yeah, big. it's a little much. It was it was a bit much. And my father-in-law loves garlic, but he even told it, he said, listen, you got to cut down on the garlic, please. Uh, so we had that yesterday. He comes home from work. Uh, now what time does the artist known as Tony come home? Well, you know, he leaves before I even get up. He's out the door at 3.45 to 4 o'clock in the morning. Wow. Katie, before I'm even downstairs. Um, and he's gone. He starts work at 5.30. He goes all the way deep into Nassau County, starts work at 5.30, 
does eight hours, and then comes home. He's home by three every day. Wow. Because he doesn't want to battle the traffic coming home. I don't blame him. Right? Because he's going to Nassau and then coming home. So he figures if I go early and come home early, I don't don't have traffic. traffic. I love it. Yesterday, he walks in with a bag of groceries. I knew it. And he pulls out, you know, deli meat and this and that and the other. And he says, you know, I was really in the mood for hot dogs. So he, he boils hot dogs and he sat down and he had three hot dogs. Tony. With... Uh, mustard, sauerkraut. I he mean, he was really in the mood. Oh, he was. I don't in like the boiled mood. hot dogs. You lost me at boiled. <laughs> he was in the mood, and uh, yeah, now, hot dogs not a usual thing around here. Uh, but yes, he was in the mood. But so, when you have one, they're really good. Yes, once in a while, I had a half of one. I literally cut one in half, put a little mustard and uh, sauerkraut on it, and I. I I wasn't ready for a whole hot dog at the... Oh, at not the ready, huh? Yeah, just not... I think the, I'm always ready if someone's... But not boiled. I would have said artist known as Tony. I don't like them boiled. I understand, Candy. I understand. Uh, today is National Maryland Day. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I've i uh, hung out in Maryland a couple times in the last few years. Been to Ocean City a few times. Yeah, I've been there, yes. Uh, by the way, Ocean City, Maryland. Always going to have a special place in my heart because... About two years before uh, my Yorkie Tony passed away, yeah, we brought her on our trip to Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, and you know we had her on the beach, and she was oh, it was so cute. Uh, National Peach Pie Day today. Not a fan. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, I like peaches. And let like, me say another thing. I yeah. really had like one good peach all summer. Mm-hmm. I had the best peaches this year. I don't know all how right. you feel about it. I don't eat too many peaches. You don't eat a peach? Well, I would if it was in front of me. We don't really buy them. Huh. Yeah. And <laughs> sorry to huh. disappoint you. And National Waffle Day today. I'm not a big waffle girl. People love them, though. Abby uh, is very good at making her own waffles with our waffle maker. Very, very nice. Did she come home or is no, she today. never coming home again? Oh, she, today. She's coming home from the sleepover today. Yesterday... They went to a roller skating rink that had a Stranger Things theme. I love that. They had a blast. I saw pictures. I and might even roller skate something like that. The day before, they went out to dinner with um, Dina's husband's uh, parents, right? So Dina's in-laws. And they had, uh, I saw a picture of Molly and Abigail with gigantic steaks and Caesar salad. Yeah. I want to move in with Aunt I, Dina. I, I mean, for heaven's sake. I know. They're doing very well out there. Very, you ha- I, very I hope you're treating her at least almost as good, Molly, yes. when she comes. Yes, very. Steak and Caesar salad, yes. Very, very. Well, you know Stranger what? Stranger thing roller skating, though. Oh, that sounds great. I told Dina, I said, you know, we need to get a joint debit card, each load it up, and just pass it back and forth when the other child is over our house. Because, yes, my, my daughter gets treated very well. Very well? <laughs> I'm not so sure holding up your end of the deal. I know. I got to do better. I do. Um, a guy in Pennsylvania had a heart attack this month, rang his neighbor's doorbell because he knows one's a firefighter and the other's a nurse. They did CPR on him and saved his wow. life. Wow. I and the get do- to know my neighbors better. The doorbell, the doorbell camera got it all on video. And even the thank you, he went back two days later to thank them. Incredible. Uh, someone in Houston found an abandoned puppy under a junk pile oh. on, the, on the side of the road. Oh. They rescued it, and it was adopted by a dancer for the Houston Rockets. Love it. A woman in Australia scratched off lottery tickets, thought she lost, threw them away. Daughter double-checked them. She won $10,000. Did they find the ticket? Yeah, they found the ticket. Yay! And a woman on a bus in Peru recently fell asleep on a random guy's shoulder. He let her sleep. Then she saw him on the same bus again a few weeks later. He asked her out, and now they're dating. Love it. Because I wouldn't let a stranger sleep on my shoulder. That's it. (laughs) That's it. Yes, agreed. However, imagine, and I don't know, I haven't seen the video, but imagine they're uh, two single people and they're somewhat attracted to each I other. I do you imagine know. being single back in the day and taking a flight and looking and saying, oh, I hope that handsome guy's sitting next to me. But you know what? They never did. 
<laughs> I always got the older guy or the one who didn't say anything and was coughing, and I'm thinking he's going to kill me. Yes. Or a kid kicking my seat. Yeah, I never got that, oh, he is good looking. No, I never got anyone sitting next to me like that. I am sorry to hear that. I, I am, am too. Uh, Candy, have a great rest of your day. Okay? You do the same. Thank you. Uh, Easton Corbin tonight, Dublin Deck, beautiful weather, 87 for the high today. Going to be gorgeous on the water tonight. Food, drink, southbound opens, Easton Corbin, then southbound closes. Don't miss it. In advance, $10, DublinDeck.com. Get your ticket now. We'll see you tonight. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.